we met three of those who are going to be here at the cenotaph today to find out what impact being here would have on them. I think it's a real honour to have been selected to take part in Remembrance Sunday. Granted, it will be a very emotional day because it's an opportunity to remember those that you've served alongside that have been lost. I'm so privileged and so proud to be celebrating this day and I've been doing this for the last 22 years. It's an amazing feeling to be taking part in Remembrance Sunday because it enables us not just to think about who has passed but also what they have given. Ever since I was young I've always wanted to join up into the military. I joined the Navy last October and I chose it so that I could go travelling around the world. I have a lot of serving family members um, who have had very successful careers. Um, I'm very proud of all of them. So I saw it as a privilege to follow in their footsteps and serve my country. It was my dream since I was young and I made it. I'm proud of it. My first operational tour was in Afghanistan, Camp Bastion. It's what I signed up for and so never as my job felt like it had more of a purpose than when I was serving out in that environment. I have served to Bosnia once and Sierra Leone twice and in Afghanistan four times so far. Many of my friends and younger soldiers, those who have worked with me and shared very difficult time with me, have lost their life. But as a soldier, I have to keep going despite of everything. But there will be a time when you really miss them and you will really be emotional. In 2012, my friend Brent McCarthy was killed out in Afghanistan. When I received the news, it was, it was a real shock. You don't expect it to be somebody that you know. You don't expect it to be somebody that young and you don't expect it to be someone who was such a good person. My great great uncle Jack Cornwall died a hundred years ago during the Battle of Jutland. Jack joined up at 15 years old and he died soon after his 16th birthday. He was the youngest VC winner within the Royal Navy. It makes not just me but my whole family proud. On Remembrance Sunday when I'm standing near the cenotaph I'll be thinking of my great great uncle Jack. I'll also be thinking of the millions of people who have given their lives during the world wars and other wars since. I'll be remembering my grandfather who joined the army and never came back home. As well as I remember my close mate, Kalasazan Kisnadura, who I lost in Afghanistan, as well as all member of armed forces who have sacrificed their life. I will be thinking about Brent. I'll be thinking of his family and his friends and all of those who have served that have given me and my country and my family the freedom and the opportunities that we are able to have today because of them. Just three of those who are going to be here on parade today. Corporal Cassandra Beach of the Royal Air Force, Captain Nawal Yaka of the Royal Gurkha Rifles, and Able Seaman Alex Saridis of the Royal Navy there, serving in HMS Iron Duke. Type 23 frigate and Cassandra Beach, who we were hearing from, now a mother, is going to be returning to Afghanistan, she says, in 2018.